Hello everyone. So here in this question, we've got a person who is standing on a sidewalk and then suddenly he hears an ambulance siren. The siren is moving towards him. Okay, well, we should have said that ambulance is moving towards him at 20 meters per second and emitting a frequency of 200 hertz. Okay, frequency is measured in hertz. Determine the frequency that the man hears. So we know that the formula for the Doppler effect is the following. And so the siren or the ambulance is moving towards the person. So we're going to use a plus at the top and a minus at the bottom. Now the frequency of the listener, that's what we're trying to calculate. So we say frequency of listeners equal to the velocity. Now this is the velocity of sound in air, which is 340 unless they specify otherwise. The velocity of the listener, that's the person standing. Well, that's zero because they're not moving. Then the velocity of air is 340, or sound in air is 340. Then we're going to say minus. Now the velocity of the source is the ambulance, and that's going to be 20, multiplied by the frequency of the source, which is 200. And so what we then end up with is frequency of the listener is equal to 340 over 320 multiplied by 200. And that gives us an answer of 212.5 hertz. So that makes sense because this ambulance is emitting a frequency of 200 and so every second there are 200 cycles being completed coming out of the ambulance siren but because the, si the ambulance is busy traveling towards the man those waves are busy being compressed and so the man will hear slightly more waves per second and so the frequency is slightly higher. Here's another example. So here we have a person that is standing on a sidewalk and an ambulance is moving away from the person at 10 meters per second. The ambulance emits a frequency of 300. Determine the frequency that the person hears. So now the ambulance is moving away. So we use a minus at the top and a plus at the bottom. Well, the reason we do that is because we're trying to make the frequency of the listener become lower because it's originally 300, but if an ambulance is moving away from you, so let's say here we've got an ambulance and here's the siren, it's busy moving this way, and you standing over here. Now, the siren is emitting sound waves, but as that ambulance is moving away, it drags those sound waves, and so they, they hit your ear less frequently. So they're getting dragged or elongated. It's only when the ambulance is coming towards you that it causes the waves to compress. And so then the frequency is higher. And so mathematically, we're going to try and make the top smaller and we're going to try and make the, the bottom larger. And so we use a minus at the top and a plus at the bottom. And so the frequency of the listener is going to be equal to 340 minus the velocity of the listener is zero, 340. And then the frequency, I mean the velocity of the ambulance is 10 and the frequency of the ambulance is 300. And so that's going to give us 340 at the top and 350 at the bottom times by 300. And if you type that in on the calculator, you end up with 291.43 hertz. And so that makes sense because the original source from the ambulance is 300 hertz, but because it's driving away, you're going to hear a slightly lower frequency.